Well, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, every day we receive comments from our viewers on social media. That's right. And that's why we are dedicating part of the show to talking about topics that are important to you, our viewers and listeners. So this week we ran a couple of polls under our YouTube community tab, and we asked how many of you felt forgiveness was a personal struggle and what the biggest hindrance to forgiveness was. As you can see, 70% agreed that they struggled to forgive. And then viewers said that their biggest hindrance to forgiveness was often personal or emotional pain from the action. So coming in second place was actually the fault being repeated, was a repeated offense. So um, obviously I think we have all struggled to forgive. Yeah, and today I struggled to find out that there actually is a community tab on, on YouTube. Uh, I, yes. I didn't know that there mm -hmm. was one. Yeah, so I, how... I, yeah, I've been educated. Yes, I mean, I think the biggest question is, you know, how are we able to overcome that offense mm -hmm. and truly forgive those who have hurt us? So obviously a lot of people are saying, like, yes, it's hard for me to forgive because of the emotional pain that that offense caused That's me. the number one. Yeah. And, and it has to do with, you know, you see the person and it just brings back that memory. Mm. And so it brings back all of that pain, it floods in. Yeah. And sometimes you just see them in your mind's eye uh, and you remember it and then you're back in that moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I encourage you in that to take the words of Jesus from the cross to heart. Mm. Here he is, he's been nailed to a piece of wood. Yeah. He's been beaten 39 stripes with a cat of nine tails. I mean, it's just horrific. He's been crowned with thorns. Mm. He's been mocked. Um, it, he's in a obvious pain and, and all, he's totally human in that moment. He says, I thirst. But he also says, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. And sometimes it's, you know, we, we get into a judgment. Well, they sure did know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And they knew it was wrong. And they knew they shouldn't have done it. And they did it to me. What they don't know is the lingering impact on you. Yeah. Um, and here's, here's the kicker to this. You are holding on to it. And that unforgiveness is hurting you again and again and again. Mm. They've moved on. And they, yeah. they're not experiencing what you're experiencing. If they did know it, they may have changed their behavior. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Yeah. But also look at it from your standpoint, that unforgiveness, you're reliving the poison. I know it's hard, and in my life, I've, I've had a couple of offenses. <laughs> and, you know, okay, um, it, it, it also, I've offended people, so... If I want to be forgiven for that, I have to forgive myself. Mm -hmm. And it's a process. And you start with, I forgive them. And you announce it. I, I find it really helpful to say it out loud, to get that whole picture, that whole event, and in that say, I forgive them. The first time you do that, you're going to hear yourself and you're not going to believe it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay mm -hmm. because it's a process. And so you've yeah. taken the first step in the process and you're saying, I want to do this. I want to be free of it. I don't want to have this poison in me anymore. I don't want to have the bitterness and the anger and the resentment. I don't want to relive this. And I don't want to have all of those emotions come floating over me and ruin my day. I don't want that. I want to be free of it. I need to get this out. And so the next prayer, I want to forgive. Father, help me because yeah. I can't do this on my mm -hmm. own. In, in that process of asking for the Holy Spirit, asking for God the Father, asking for the same Jesus who said that on the cross yeah. to be in you and to speak through you and to mm -hmm. change you. All of these steps will get you to the point where actually you can be free. Yeah. And I speak from personal experience. It's mm -hmm. a process. You go through the forgiving process. Mm -hmm. And one of the great things is to say over and over, uh, I forgive them. Yeah. They owe me nothing. Mm -hmm. They don't even have to apologize. Yeah. I, I really want, I want them to be blessed. I want them to have a wonderful life. I want them to know Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when, when, you, when you do that and you do that, feeling it, yeah. and, and, and it's no longer just words, but it's you. Yeah. 
yeah. then, then, yeah, you walk free. I think we forget oftentimes that forgiveness is part of the gospel. I mean, it is the gospel. Like we are forgiven of our sins and our transgressions towards the Father. So, and we're called, right? We're called as believers, sons and daughters of God to be like Christ. So if Christ was able to, on the cross, on the cross, suffering and dying, say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. How, how are we just going to sit in, in unforgiveness and say, I can't do that. If Jesus did it, look to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, it is the Holy Spirit, that same spirit, that spirit of God that can get empower you to forgive people. We can't do it in our own might. We can't do it in our own strength. But with God, we can. Here's an illustration for you, and it's, it's from the parable that Jesus told about forgiveness, that there was a man that owned a great debt, 10,000 talents. It would be like billions of dollars in today's currency. And he, he couldn't pay it to the king, and so he went to the king and said, have mercy on me. Uh, I'll try to repay. And, and the king says, well, you can't, and I, I forgive you. He goes out from that, and somebody owes him a small amount of money, and he puts them into debtor's prison. And when the mm -hmm. king finds out about it, he says, it's a really chilling verse. He was delivered to the torturers until he paid in full. Mm -hmm. Now, think how many times have you sinned against God your whole life? David uh, he, his sin of adultery with Bathsheba and then killing Bathsheba's husband in order to hide his sin. So you got murder and adultery. And in that, he says, against you, O Lord, have I sinned. Mm, yeah. Start thinking of the number of times that you have sinned against God. That's a big debt. Yeah. Well, I don't, it's, <laughs> you compare that to somebody offended me. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to okay. hold that. And, and you get the mm -hmm. picture of how small that is in God's eyes. How many times have you offended him and he's forgiven yeah. you? So let us extend his grace, his yes. mercy to those around us Amen. and in that get free of it mm -hmm. so that we can receive more from him. Yeah, and I'm also reminded of the scripture where Peter is asking Jesus, he's like, Lord, how many times am I supposed to forgive somebody who sins against me? And we were talking about this in our latest lesson episode you know, it could have been an, another disciple. He's like, look, Jesus, how many times am I supposed to forgive this, this dude over here? And Jesus is, and, and Peter says seven times, seven's enough, right? And Jesus is like, no, not seven times, 70 times seven, AKA an infinite amount of times you're supposed to forgive your brothers and sisters, so. Okay, what do you do word. with repeat offenders? Because that was the second biggest one in the survey. Yeah. Um, Somebody well, keeps. Well, I do believe that boundaries are good. Um, if you know, especially when it comes to obviously like abuse or anything like that. What if you're related to them? I do think boundaries are, are still good. <laughs> <laughs> I do think boundaries are still good. But you know, sometimes you might not even have to like. It's just a boundary that you've made for yourself. Like you know what, this uh. person. I am just going to not be around this person. And if they ask me, then I might, you know, be open and say, okay, um, well, I, this is the reason why I can't be around you or, um, I don't know, what, what would you say? I, I think it helps to forgive in advance. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, you know, it depends <laughs> on what you're talking about. If you're talking about physical abuse, yeah. you know, no. Yeah. Uh, if you're talking about something that's going to torment you, no. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I, I want more than a boundary. I want a moat and a brick wall. Mm -hmm. uh, let's, yeah. let's separate physically so that doesn't, you don't have to go through that. There's nothing in the Bible that says you do. So, uh, you, you know, it's, but also realize offenses will come and it, it's actually our close relationships that have the most potential for yeah, repeat offenses. Mm -hmm. And in that, how do you love them and, and realize yeah. there, there are flaws that God is dealing with them in, in them? And then turn the mirror on you. You know, what, what, is, what, what does God need to do in me yeah. for me to love mm -hmm. unconditionally? Yeah. And, you know, it's a great phrase, and I'll, I like to use it with people. Well, what a wonderful opportunity for our love to be perfected. Amen. <laughs> Take the plank out of your own eye. You know, let's, yeah. let's perfect our love. Yeah. But in that, you're revealing that, well, by the way, this is offensive. You know, you, I'm, I'm having to go extra miles mm -hmm. to love you. 
Um, and so, it, but it, 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 it really does shine a gospel light, if you will, on the, uh, on the problem. Yeah, definitely. So our love is being perfected. It's totally being perfected. <laughs> All right. Well, if you guys want uh, more on this topic, please just uh, listen to our latest podcast. It's called The Lesson. You can find it on the CBN Family app. You can find it on the CBN YouTube channel. All of that and more. Again, we go into depth about this specific topic about forgiveness, so make sure you guys watch. It's already out there for you to listen to. Hey everyone, I'm Ashley Key. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so we can reach more people with encouraging content like you just watched and so you never miss a beat. See you next time and God bless.